What's up? What's happening? What's popping? What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to another great episode of Samo with the Spizzards. I'm Samo, I'm bringing you guys daily sports talk. So if you're new here, if you're old here, you haven't already subscribed to the channel yet, make sure you stop what you're doing, leave a comment, subscribe, keep rocking with me. Also, make sure you check out the links down below. The first link is to buy me a coffee to help fuel this channel. The second link is to shop the official Samoa with the Spizzords, a merch collection, get you the classic tee, the wavy tee, or the fly or die crew neck. For all my birds fans, the crew neck comes in green, white, and black. And lastly, guys, turn the notification bells on because you already know the videos are coming live. Boom, 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 boom. And you don't want to miss a single video or a single live stream. But guys, let's jump right into the topic today. Um, we got to talk about some Eastern Conference news, of course, because we're at this point in the season where every game matters, yes, and every game these other teams play matter, not just the Sixers, because the the, the final seeding is going to be obviously determined by how everyone performs and not just the Sixers. So this weekend, Sunday, Saturday, was very pivotal in the Eastern Conference. A lot of big things happened. But let's start out with the Sixers. So we know by now the Sixers lost to the Miami Heat last night. So like I said, this, what I call it, one of our tougher Eastern Conference, um, this, this, this tough Eastern Conference series that we're in right now. It consisted of the Cavs two days ago, the Heat yesterday, the Bulls tomorrow, and the Nets. In that four game series, I said that this team, I believe needs to go at least three and one in that series. The goal would have been to go four and zero, but of course we dropped one to the Heat. So it's gonna be very, very, very pivotal to pick up a win against the Bulls and the Nets because like I said, this Eastern Conference is very tight. I don't have a lot of really, only have one thing to say about the game versus the Heat. Now the Heat, of course we know is the number one seed right now. Now we're at 39 wins, 25 losses. The Heat are at 43 wins. So now we are four games behind the number one seed, which is the Miami Heat. And it's gonna be a little bit tougher, to, a lot of bit tougher to catch up to the Heat now that we um, dropped that loss to them. But I'm not concerned about that loss because one, we didn't have the beer. James Harden wasn't playing last night. Um, we knew before the game, James Harden wasn't gonna play. I didn't know until earlier that day that James wasn't gonna be playing. But apparently he had, he had some built-in hamstring, like low management games built in. Um, he must have talked about before the trade with the Sixers. I didn't know about it, but I'm thinking we can expect Harden to miss a few more games, at least maybe one more game before the playoffs, because the way that the um, the way that it was reported, it was sounded like he had a like some a certain amount of games he was going to miss before the playoffs to maintain his hamstring health. So it sounds like it will at least be one more game that he's going to sit out to rest the hamstring. Now, I hate it had to be the game against the Heat because, like I said, the Heat are the number one seed. That's the team we're trying to gain some momentum to catch up with. But it was on a back to it was coming off a back to back. We did have a hard win, a hard game against the Cavs the night before. And then the Sixers had to turn around and play the Heat. So James Harden hamstring wise, I guess that was a lot on his hamstring. And James has been balling out consistently every single game. So the effort has been there. The only thing I'm really concerned about a little bit, like I said, I'm not concerned about that loss as a whole, but the only glaring thing about that loss was one, what other games is James gonna miss? Two, Cork Maz just stunk it up. And that's a game where Cork Maz and players like Cork Maz are shooting guards and our guards should be stepping up when James Harden is out. Cork Maz stumped the joint up. He was in the game for 20 minutes. He only scored four points in 20 minutes. That's not very shooting guard like of you. Cork Maz is supposed to be a high volume shooter. He's supposed to be a knockdown catch and shoot guy. And I just don't understand why Cork Maz is getting 20 minutes. Why are you getting so many minutes? That's not even, that's not Cork Maz's fault. Like, yeah, it's his fault he sucks, but I don't get why Doc won't pull Cork Maz out, give somebody else like Isaiah Joe some more run, especially in a game like that where, well, that game, we were in that game. We could have won that game if it was not for 20 useless minutes from somebody like Cork Maz because we were very much close towards the end of the game. We battled back from our huge deficit. We were within three points, four points. And then again, we're getting empty minutes from a guy like Cork Miles, who at this point in his career and as this long he's been with the Sixers, is completely unacceptable. I'm, I'm sick of Cork Miles, okay? 
Like I said, Doc, I don't know why Doc is giving him so many minutes when he's continuously stinking the joint up. That cannot happen when we get to the playoffs because Cork Maz is going to be somebody that's going to always be freaking open. When James Harden and Joel Embiid and Tyrese Maxey are out on the court, Cork Maz is going to be the one that's going to be wide open all the time. So we know James Harden is going to find the wide open guy. Cork Maz got to be ready to knock down them shots. We're almost at the playoffs. Cork Maz, I just don't understand what. At this point, he's just giving extremely useless. Like I'm saying, that's gonna be glaring. That's gonna be a glaring thorn in us when we get to the playoffs. Cause like I said, Cork Miles is gonna be the guy that's gonna be wide open and is gonna be needing to knock down shots. And he's not showing he could do that consistently. So I'm sick of his she officially. Now, there's nothing else I have to complain about about the, the game last night, but Cork Miles. I'm on his ad, y'all. I'm on his ad because he keeps getting on my freaking nerves. And like I'm saying, 20 minutes for points. And the thing is, I don't even have the, the, the box score up right now, but he didn't even attempt that many shots. So I don't know. I just don't understand what's going on with, with Furkan. Okay, at this point, I'm, I'm sick of him. But yeah, like I said, I'm not worried about that loss um, last night. Back to back, team tied, no James Harden, playing the number one seed. I ain't mad at it, especially since we got that great win against the Cavs the night before. Like I said, I want to go 3-1 and one in this little series, so we need to go ahead and beat the Bulls, and we need to go ahead and beat the Nets. Now, like I said, that's my only thing is court miles. And two, what's going on? Like, James Harden seems extremely healthy when he's out there, but is there something that we don't know? Because if, if, if it's just Tyrese Maxey, James Harden, Joel, and B, we know that like those guys is always going to be consistent. We know we'll we be able to rely on James health all the time. That's just something I'm a little bit concerned about. Like um, that's got me a little bit shook um, because we know James is someone who battles with injuries a lot, which is not his fault, but it just is what it is. So just him sitting out of that game with like playing rest. I'm like, okay, what other rest are you planning? Like when else are you going to be playing rest? Let us know ahead of time and not the morning of. But that's the Sixers for you guys. We got some other to get into. So the NBA today was extremely exciting. Sunday series. I'm here for it. You know what I'm saying? A little, no, they called it the Sunday Showcase. Um, the Sunday Showcase started off with the Boston Celtics and the Brooklyn Nets. It was a game at TD Garden. It was a thriller. Kyrie was playing. Um, Kevin Durant was playing. Jason Tatum was playing. And um, what's his name was back? Jalen Brown. First of all, Jalen Brown's braids has him looking like, um, what's his name? What's old boy's name? Um, Julius Randle. His little braids got him looking real Julius Randle-ish. But anyway, the Celtics freaking balled out. Now I'll tell you, that was a game, okay? That was a game, very close game. Went down to the wire. The, the Celtics pulled away with about two or three minutes left. I'm saying the stars were star powering. I believe Kevin Durant had 40 points. Jason Tatum finished with 50 plus. I want to say he had 52 or 54, but I don't want to misquote. He definitely had 50 plus points. Both of those teams was looking amazing. And like I said, great basketball, great entertaining me during the Sunday. But y'all, that just goes to show how crazy this East is because the Celtics are balling right now. The Nets look really good. Like I said, um, Kevin Durant, 40 some points. He's healthy for sure. Um, I saw Seth Curry knock down a lot of clutch shots. I said, yeah, Seth Curry and then um, Kyrie Irving, of course, is Kyrie Irving, did Kyrie Irving. The Nets look really good, and the Celtics look really good, and that's what's scary because, like I've said, this East, y'all, is not to be played around with. It's some really, really, really good teams in the East, and the fact that a team like the Nets is the freaking, I want to say they're the eighth or ninth seed right now. I believe they're the eighth seed. The fact that the Nets are a freaking eighth seed is scary. That just goes to show why we can't play around. <laughs> When it comes to the seeding, we need as high a seed we can get because the team, the Boston Celtics are the fifth seed and they're, they're a extremely good team and they're a fifth seed. That's why I'm not trying to play around with lower seeding because we can find ourselves playing that Boston Celtics team in the freaking first round. Now, hats off, kudos to Jason Tatum. We all know that man is a straight baller. It was just ballers balling today, okay? And like I said, the East is just not to be played around with. We're going to talk a little bit about the seeding, but next game we had Bucks versus Suns. Now the Bucks versus Suns shouldn't even been a game because D book was still out and we know Chris Paul is out. That shouldn't even been a game. The Bucks should have trampled the Suns, 
to the Thrax, the Suns. But the Suns hung around, y'all, until about the third quarter, and that's when I fell asleep. <laughs> but the Suns was hanging around all game. When I woke up from my nap, checked the score, Bucks won by like 10, so they must have pulled away at the end, as they should have. But the Bucks got to win, the Celtics got to win. That's not good for the Sixers. Now let's jump into the standings, where this all boils down to. So, like I said, we're four games behind the Heat, okay? The Celtics are at 39 wins. We're tied, win total-wise, with the Celtics. Now, picture this. We're the number two seed, the Celtics are the number five seed, and we both have the same amount of wins. That's scary. Like I said, any we're the number two seed, but it's so easy we could fall down to number five, number six. That's what I'm saying. All these wins matter. That's why we need all of our chips in, all of our guys in, all of our beards in <laughs> every single game. Because like I said, we're number two, but we're, we have the same win total as the number five seed, which is the Celtics. Um, I believe we have one less loss than the Celtics or maybe two less losses than the Celtics. But anyway, the Bucks are at 40 wins. So the Bucks right now are the number three seed, but they have more wins than us. The only reason why we're above the Bucks is because we have less losses. I believe we have two less losses than the Bucks. But that's all I'm saying, y'all. Do y'all see how tight it is? We're at number two, but we barely holding on. Don't push me because I am close to the edge type of heat. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, so we're tied with the Bulls and the Celtics for win totals. We have the same amount of wins as the Bulls and the Celtics. So the Bucks are number three, the Bulls are number four, and I believe the Celtics are number five. I know for sure the Celtics are number five, but I'm not, and I know the Bucks are three, and I believe it is the Bulls at number four. But I'm just trying to tell y'all, to really reiterate the fact to y'all that all these games matter, and I really believe the Eastern Conference final standings and seeding, and really in the top five, top six, shoot, is gonna go down to the last game. <laughs> The last game for these teams because it's a neck and neck race that's all i'm saying but yeah overall like i said i'm not shook about the heat game specifically would have been amazing to get a win yes but it is what it is um i'm a little bit concerned about i mean i'm a lot of bit concerned about <laughs> court mods of course um of course but James Harden, I need to know, buddy, when are you in and when are you out? This is only one game he's missed with us so far this season, but we do know James as someone who battles with injuries. Um, like I said, this hamstring rest against the Heat seemed like it was pre-planned, so it would be great to know when the next planned rest is. Uh, maybe against the Magic, since that should be a game we should win anyway. We do want him fresh. We want them hammies fresh for the playoffs. But like I said, y'all, this East earn conference is crazy like i said celtics bucks bulls nets us and then even the the I, we haven't even mentioned the Cavs or the raptors who've been quietly balling out lately so shoot this east like i keep saying is not to be not to be toyed with it is not to be toyed with but y'all let me know from the Sixers perspective what team do you think is gonna be the biggest threat to the Sixers in the playoffs let me know that down below if you made it this far in the video. Also, let me know what do you, how you think the final seeding is going to shake out. Let me know your top five teams in the East if you made it this far in the video. Let me know your top five teams. Like, what do you think? We know the Heat are one, the um, quarter in the standing, the Sixers are two, Bucks, Bulls. But what do you think the power rankings currently are? Um, top five. But y'all, make sure you like this video. Make sure you leave a comment. Subscribe. Keep rocking with me. Check out the links down below. Buy me the coffee, shot the fish smell with the Spizzorts, a merch collection, and until I talk to you guys next time, bye!